Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and do an entire update on the whole Jennifer Hudson, David Ortunga situation, okay? So if you guys remember back in 2017, I had covered this case. The story went viral because Jennifer Hudson went to all the blogs, all the news outlets, and basically stated that David Ortunga was abusive to her, was trying to kidnap their child. It was all types of mess, but for me personally, I saw through the bullshit. I called out Jennifer Hudson. I'm like, this makes no sense. This man always has his child always posting with the little boy. I, I saw the little boy with his father more than I ever saw him with Jennifer Hudson. And that's not to take anything away from her because she is a working mother. She was working on The Voice at the time, you know, so she's busy singing and, you know, doing her career thing. But he was also busy. At that time, he was also doing things with the WWF. Um, he's also a practicing lawyer. And so many people attacked me. They claimed I was wrong. If Jennifer Hudson says that he's abusive, then he's abusive. The whole situation was a mess. People were threatening to unsubscribe. Some of y'all did damn unsubscribe, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a flashback back to 2017 when everything was going on. Y'all go ahead and check this out. You know, I wish them both the best of luck, but something ain't clean in the buttermilk, and I gotta keep that all the way funky. Something don't sound right, you know, because it's funny that this man was so abusive and she wants sole custody of the child, but let's keep it real. When Jennifer Hudson was traveling all over the country and singing and giving performances, who had the child? The father did. He was a stay-at-home dad. He was raising that boy while she ran all over the country working. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that role reversal. If it works for them, that's perfect. You know what I'm saying? But I just find it funny that now that she's trying to come out with these slanderous remarks and making it seem like he's a horrible person and that she wants full custody. Well, now David has hired a lawyer and his lawyer is finally speaking out to People Magazine. And this is what his lawyer had to say. So the lawyer says this. He's saying Mr. Ortega has never abused or harass Ms. Hudson or their son. It is unfortunate, especially in today's climate, that she would feel the need to make these false allegations against him. Mr. Ortega looks forward to his day in court and in being awarded residential care of the party's only child. But I'm not just going to buy the, the media narrative. I'm not going to buy just what one person says. I have to look at everything in a full picture. And now people are seeing that a lot of the stuff I was saying is coming to light. And a lot of people are now giving Jennifer Hudson the side eye because I didn't just run with her story of abuse and you know how horrible David was and now he's looking to fight that case that she levied against him so it's gonna all right, so you guys just heard both those flashbacks. So I did those videos back to back. Um, the first one was basically talking about the situation. The second one was me addressing people attacking me. And so anyhow, after that, a short time after the whole Thanksgiving dinner, they went back to court and the judge awarded David Atunga primary custody of their son, okay? So if he's such a bad guy and he's beating her ass and, you know, abusing the child, why was he awarded full custody? A lot of times, the courts are going to automatically side with the woman. They saw through Jennifer Hudson's bullshit, okay? So now, after that happened, they've been in this horrible battle. They've been going back and forth to court for the past two years, and they have finally come to a resolution, okay? So this is what's being reported today all over the blogs. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So they're saying back in 2017, Hudson originally filed an emergency order of protection, accusing Otenga of pushing her while holding their son, David. The court granted the temporary request, but Hudson would later drop the petition altogether. Otunga has always denied the allegations. Since she dropped her petition for order protection. The two have been battling it out in court with each filing motion after motion in court, accusing the other of playing legal games. At one point, the voice star even feared that he would kidnap their son. David claimed that she was trying to defame him with her allegations. The reason why she dropped the petition is because her ex and the courts ordered her to testify under oath amid the custody battle, meaning that she'd have to be truthful about all the things that she was accusing David Otunga of. And so that is why she dropped it because she knew what she was saying was just not factual. So then the article goes on to say this. According to reports, Jennifer Hudson and David signed an agreement after a seven hour after seven hours of negotiation at the Cook County Court on Tuesday. Terms of agreement were not made public, but the couple had been arguing over visitation for Jennifer and child support for David Sr., who was awarded primary custody of their son back in 2017. After court, David celebrated the outcome on social media. 
He posted a picture with his lawyers, and he says, in the words of Ice Cube, today was a good day. Best custody lawyers in Chicago. Hashtag Otenga Dream Team. All right, so you guys just heard what I had to say. You guys saw what David Ortunga posted. I believe the reason why he had such a good day is not only because he, you know, gets to keep primary custody of the son, but that he also got child support, which I don't blame him at all because women do it all the time. If he's a primary caregiver, she should pay child support. No different than Holly Berry, no different than Britney Spears, okay? David Ortunga was not just some bum-ass dude like she was trying to make him out to be. You know, he was on reality TV for a short while. We all got introduced to him from Tiffany in New York Pollard when she called him punk on her reality TV show. He was fighting for a chance at love with Tiffany. So that's how we all got introduced to him. Then she started dating him right before her family ended up getting killed. And they had been together for years, okay? But in between him doing reality TV, he ended up getting into the WWF. So he was a wrestler. He was making money off of that. He had his own persona. But before all of that, before the fame, before the reality television, before the wrestling, he went to Harvard Law School. He was a lawyer, okay? So of course he's gonna hook up with some of the best lawyers in the city. He's still a practicing lawyer. So he was definitely gonna fight that case. He was definitely gonna fight for his reputation. And because I saw through the bullshit games, I was attacked for it. So I say kudos to him. But what I find really funny is that when the allegations first came out, this was front page news. This was all over the blogs, all over mainstream media. But now that he's been cleared of this, the allegations have been dropped. The accusations have been dropped. He has primary custody of his son. Um, he's also, I'm assuming, gaining child support because they can't talk about what was, you know, in the settlement. But it's funny that nobody's really reporting on this. Nobody's talking about that. But when they were out there besmudging his name and making him look like a horrible person, that was all over the news. So it's really sad how that is, but I want to do an update on this situation. I want to cover it because I saw through the bullshit two years ago, and I'm glad he got his day in court, and I'm glad that he was successful. So from here on out, I wish both of them the best. You know, I'm glad that they're able to put this whole custody nonsense behind them and just make it about what's best for their son. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy update concerning jennifer hudson and david ortenga basically him getting primary custody and him allegedly you know what i'm saying i don't have proof but being that he's saying that it was a good day also getting child support from Jennifer Hudson, being that he is a primary caregiver of his child. So let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Do you agree with me that it was a shame how when he was accused of abusing her and beating her, this was front page news all over the country. But now that you know everything has been settled, none of these allegations have panned out. He has primary custody of the son. Nobody's really reporting on this. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.